Duo Fish. Salutations, everyone. At one point or another, everyone has wondered what the largest things in the universe are. It's just something we are naturally curious about. This video will explore the biggest things in the universe by type, ranging from the largest of the small things to the largest structure that we currently know of. Number 15. The Largest Comet, Hale Bopp. Comet Hale Bopp gets its unusual name due to the two men who discovered it on the same early morning of July 23rd, 1995, but were hundreds of miles away from each other. Alan Hale, who had a PhD in astronomy viewing the sky from his New Mexico home, and Thomas Bopp, an amateur astronomer in Arizona, both discovered the comet when scanning the night sky. As for Hale Bopp itself, the comet has a nucleus diameter of around 40 to 80 kilometers, making it the largest humanity has ever had a chance to accurately measure. Hale Bopp is most famously known for its brilliant blue tail of neutral sodium that was viewable through special filters. It's uncommon in most comets. Known as the Great Comet of 1997, Hale Bopp was easily seen by the naked eye and is one of the most brilliant comets ever recorded, perhaps being the star ancient Egyptians mentioned following the death of Pharaoh Pepi I over 2,000 years ago. Viewers of this video who wish to observe Hale Bopp in the future can expect a return trip by the comet around the year 4,400. Better sit down, I guess. Number 14. The Largest Asteroid, One Series. I suppose this may be seen as cheating, considering that Ceres was recently reclassified as a dwarf planet, but Ceres was originally classified as an asteroid and by far is the largest rock in the asteroid belt. Named after the Roman goddess of agriculture, Ceres is a lifeless ball of ice and rock discovered officially by Giuseppe Piazzi in 1801. At 950 kilometers in diameter, Ceres makes up a third of the mass in the asteroid belt. To put that into perspective, the meteorite that helped put the dinosaurs out to pasture was around 9.7 kilometers in diameter. Don't worry about Ceres impacting Earth, though. It moves in a constant orbit around the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. Excitingly, NASA's unmanned probe Dawn departed Vesta, the second largest asteroid in the asteroid belt, and we'll get a closer look at Ceres as it approaches it March 6th of this year, which will give us both a better understanding of Ceres and hopefully photos with finer detail. Number 13. The Largest Crater. Utopia Planetia Mars actually contains a few of the largest viewable craters in our solar system, with Utopia Planetia coming in as the most gigantic. Stretching 3,300 kilometers in length, this crater is nearly the size of our moon. Utopia Planetia's size is really difficult to wrap your head around. To better visualize its size, try imagining a crater which has a border extending from Las Vegas to Washington, D.C. Next, understand that the largest impact crater on Earth is only 300 kilometers in diameter, making it over 10 times smaller. That means that the size of the meteorite that struck Mars was around 129 to 193 kilometers in diameter, while the meteorite that contributed to the extinction of the dinosaurs was again only about 10 kilometers in diameter. It's no doubt that Mars is probably the most unlucky planet in our solar system. Number 12. The Largest Moon, Ganymede. Though Earth's moon is quite large, Jupiter's moon Ganymede takes the title of the largest known moon with a diameter of 5,268 kilometers. Discovered by Galileo in 1610, Ganymede is the only moon that we currently know of that has a magnetosphere, meaning that Ganymede has an iron liquid core. This is particularly exciting to many because that means there could be a large amount of water underneath the ice that covers much of the surface of Ganymede. When looking at Ganymede, it is easy to notice that there are portions dark in color and light in color. The lighter colored portions are ice and the darker ones clay and other materials which scientists estimate there is about 50% of each on the planet. Another probe will be sent to examine Ganymede around the year 2022 so we may better examine it and Jupiter's other moons. Number 11. The Largest Planet, WASP 17b. Sporting a diameter twice the size of Jupiter at 284,681 kilometers, WASP-17b is currently distinguished as the largest exoplanet humanity has ever observed. Oddly enough, this exoplanet has a mass half that of Jupiter and 17 times less dense than the ground that we have here on Earth. That means that WASP-17b has a density like styrofoam, signifying that it is likely an old gas giant that has expanded a little due to time, but mostly due to the fact that it orbits so close to its own sun. Speaking of its orbit, WASP-17b actually has an orbit the likes of which we have never observed. WASP-17b orbits its sun opposite to the sun's rotation. 
This phenomena is known as retrograde orbit, and it is currently a mystery as to how WASP-17b ended up where it is now, though there are a few unconfirmed theories that have been suggested. Number 10. The largest star, UY Scuti. This absolutely massive star is currently the largest star we know of as it has a diameter of 2.4 billion kilometers, giving it a volume 5 billion times larger than our own sun. This means that placed in our own solar system, UI Scuti would cover the area from our sun to Jupiter's orbit. Insanely enough, this star wasn't even measured during the peak of its brightness, meaning that it could be even larger than what we believe it is right now. UI Scuti is so massive that it may fall outside of the bounds of our current stellar evolution theory due to its current temperature and luminosity being higher than expected for a star of its size. Stars like UI Scuti are incredibly rare and consequently have had little study done upon them. In the upcoming millions of years, UI Scuti is expected to go supernova and become the brightest star in the night sky for several months, leaving behind either a neutron star or a black hole. Number 9. The Largest Black Hole Phoenix Cluster Black Hole Normally, the size of black holes are related to the size of the galaxy that they are in the center of. However, there are supermassive black holes that actually have several galaxies orbiting them instead of just one. The Phoenix Cluster Black Hole is a supermassive black hole that is confirmed to quite possibly be the most enormous black hole ever observed with an event horizon having a diameter of 100 billion kilometers, 18 times the distance from the Sun to Pluto. If that wasn't scary enough, this supermassive black hole is actually gaining mass and width every day as it continues to absorb matter from nearby stars and dust. Good thing it's 5.7 billion light years away from here, huh? Number 8. The Largest Nebula, NGC 604. Some of you amateur astronomers out there may disagree with NGC 604 being listed as the largest nebula. However, this is only due to the fact that the term nebula has extended to mean any cloud in space which could indeed be linked to things ridiculously enormous in length. However, when it comes to H2 regions, which are most normally associated with nebulae, NG604 is without a doubt the largest singular H2 region that we currently know of. Located in the Triangulum Galaxy, NGC604 is measured to be 1,500 light years long, and due to its incredible brightness, it would outshine Venus if it were as close to us as the famous Orion Nebula. Number 7. The Largest Galaxy, IC1101. At this point, it is nearly absolutely impossible to imagine the size of objects in space even though we are only at number 7 in the list. For comparison's sake, just remember that whenever I say one light year, I mean that light takes one year to travel from one point to another. Knowing that, when you hear that IC1101 is 6 million light years in diameter, you should understand that it would take someone traveling at the speed of light 6 million years to traverse the entirety of the galaxy. IC1101 is an ancient elliptical galaxy most likely formed from several galaxies colliding over time. Over 100 trillion stars call IC1101 their home, while our own Milky Way supports a measly 300 billion stars. Obligatory statement of how its size puts our tiny problems into perspective in this giant universe. Number 6. The Largest Blob, Newfound Blob. Blobs are enormous clouds of gas that have been ejected from the galaxy's center upwards and downwards into space and make up some of the most enormous objects in the universe. Due to the fact that these clouds are only seen through UV photons, they are very difficult to detect. Discovered in 2005 by one Ryosuke Yamauchi, Newfound Blob is actually a collection of lime and alpha blobs in a proto-galaxy extending 200 million light-years across. Astronomers believe this to be an example of what galaxies look like before they formed as this cluster of gas is just 2 billion years older than the Big Bang. It should be noted that Newfound Blob is just a placeholder name until a better name for EQJ221734.0 plus 001701 is chosen. Number 5. The Largest Supercluster Horologium Supercluster A supercluster is a collection of galaxies and dwarf galaxies that seem to be grouped together loosely by gravity and dark matter, seemingly moving across the universe together. Our Milky Way galaxy is actually part of a rather small supercluster known as the Virgo Supercluster. The Horologium Supercluster dwarfs other superclusters and is made up of over 5,000 galaxy groups which gives the structure a composition of roughly 30,000 giant galaxies and 300,000 dwarf galaxies. Understandably, this structure will of course be colossal in size and measures about 550 million light years across. Feel sort of insignificant yet?
Number four. The largest void. Giant void. You may feel that we are just an isolated blue ball moving through the universe with practically nothing around us, but imagine being one of these few planets or stars isolated in this lonely part of the universe. The giant void is an enormous section of space lacking the normal density usually seen everywhere else in the universe. It stretches over 1.3 billion light years in length and only has a few unassociated galaxy clusters located within it. I, for one, am very glad that we actually live in a supercluster of galaxies instead of in the middle of what is essentially a desert in space. Number 3 The largest quasar group, huge LQG. LQGs are large quasar groups which light up many parts of space as they are enormous amounts of energy released by black holes in relatively nearby areas. Apparently unable to relate just how enormous this group of LQGs is, scientists decided that naming it the HUGE Large Quasar Group would be sufficient in denoting how gigantic this group of quasars is. Astronomers believe that around 73 quasars make up the huge LQG and measure the length of these quasars to be around 4 billion light years across. When discovered in November of 2012 and announced in early 2013, scientists believe that the huge LQG was the largest structure in the universe. But just one year later, in November 2013, it was superseded by the largest confirmed structure ever observed in the universe, which takes the next spot on this list. Number 2. The Largest Galaxy Filament. Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Labeled with a fittingly lengthy name, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is now the largest confirmed detected structure in the observed universe, thus far calculated to be 10 billion light years in length. If you recall from just a bit earlier in this list, superstructures of galaxies are large collections of thousands of galaxies seemingly barely connected by gravitational forces and dark matter. This great wall is a collection of superstructures, meaning that this structure contains hundreds of thousands of galaxies and trillions upon trillions of stars in one giant grouping seemingly barely connected by some sort of massive hierarchy which we have yet to completely identify. Number 1. The Largest Structure in the Universe the Cosmic Web. If you've been paying attention to past entries on the list, you may have noticed groupings of galaxies and other objects being tied together with gravitational forces and dark matter. Many are now theorizing that everything in the universe, if it expanded from one point, is connected through a maze of filaments formed by dark matter and gravitational forces seen connecting superstructures and great walls together. This may seem confusing, as if I'm saying the largest thing in the universe is the universe. However, the cosmic web does not include giant voids or dark energy which make up a large part of the universe. Think of the filaments found throughout space as neurons and the voids as space between them and their connections. This collection of filaments would account for the largest thing in the universe by far, perhaps over 94 billion light years in length, which is the length of the observable universe. Unfortunately, I'm sure several your mom is the biggest jokes are going to be used in the comments below, thereby taking away from the awe you may be experiencing right now and replacing it with adolescent immaturity. <sighs> the universe is certainly a wondrous place. Till next time, sayonara! Sayonara!